As a barrister, you're self-employed and you never know where your next case is going to be, where you might be sent, how long you're going to be there. Um, you work a lot at weekends and in the evenings and it's very uncertain. It's exciting and you live on adrenaline, but it's, it's um, very difficult to plan. Um, as a judge, you're, you're more static, you usually stay in one court, you have more regular hours and you can plan your life better. I was a solicitor, but it's now 15 years since I was in private practice, so it's difficult to say too much about how things operate today. Uh, judges are uh, employees, we're public employees, and so we receive a salary uh, and a pension entitlement and so on, like most public sector employees. Well, all barristers and most or well, many solicitors, certainly when they're at partner level, are self-employed. Your uh, terms and conditions of service are not certain. You know, your profits depend on how the firm has performed that year or your performance. So although they may be greater or they may be lesser than those as a, as a judge, they're not certain. And as a judge, you have the certainty of your terms and conditions, your pension, uh, your holidays, um, or as a public sector employee rather than a uh, private sector. Being a district judge works extremely well with being a working mother. Uh, I'm able to plan my childcare because I know what days I'm working, I know the time I'm working and I know where I've got to be and I pretty much can organise my life around being home at a certain time which is really important and also I'm able to work part-time so I have rather longer in the school holidays to be with the children.